Hey all, what's up everybody? Tim with today's SE. Hope wherever you're at, you are doing awesome and killing it. And uh, thanks so much for tuning in. I am filming today in one of my favorite places on the planet, San Francisco Bay. I've been here all week and it's just been a pretty uh, outstanding week from start to finish. Getting ready to wrap it up and head home, but thought I would shoot a quick video. And I wanna hone in on a topic today that um, I think is going to be a big challenge for a lot of us. Uh, it's something that I continue to challenge myself on. And uh, it's a really, a really big stretch for our thinking, but if you can learn to practice this and adopt this psychology, you're going to become really, really powerful uh, and a super uh, influential person in the lives of the people around you uh, and in your community and your world overall. And the title for today is You Don't Need a Hero, You Are the Hero. So. On the flight out, uh, there are a ton of free movies that you can watch. And it's amazing right now because our society has become addicted to superhero movies. There are the, uh, uh, there's Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman just came out uh, not too long ago. Uh, Green Lantern, Flash, my personal favorite, Iron Man, The Avengers. And we love superheroes. We love to watch them come in, swoop down, save the day, right? I love Iron Man, my favorite of all time. The challenge that happens is we start to adopt the psychology of thinking that somebody's going to rescue us. And we look for uh, people in our lives or something in our lives to come and deliver us out of our challenges and our difficulties and our problems. And the most powerful way to deal with challenges and difficulties and problems from what I've learned is we don't need to look for a hero to rescue us. We need to realize that we are the hero. Here's the bottom line. Whenever problems challenges, hardships, uh, difficulties, obstacles, hurdles, tough times, whatever the case may be hits us. So many times we're looking for somebody to come and save us, but what we need to realize is the reason why we are in that situation is we are the ones who are meant to be the hero. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is it's not an accident that that's come across the radar screen of your life. I firmly believe that we are put into situations like that to show up as the hero. We are the ones who are supposed to come up with solutions. We are the ones who are supposed to be the rock and the pillar and the support. We are the ones who are to come in and own the situation, take full responsibility and say, hey, I'm going to provide certainty. I am going to provide direction. I am going to provide leadership. I'm first going to lead myself and then I'm going to be the pillar of strength and support to all of you around me. I don't need somebody else to come in and save me. I don't need somebody to come and deliver me. I'm not going to sit here and bitch and whine and moan and feel sorry for myself and wallow in my self-pity. I'm not going to exemplify, I'm not, excuse me, I'm not going to amplify the problem. I'm not going to talk about how hard it is and how tough it is. I'm going to realize it may suck and I'm going to embrace the suck. In other words, the suck is there. It doesn't go away. I'm not going to deny it, but I'm not going to let it own me. I'm going to own it because I'm bigger than it is, I've got better resources, and I'm not here by accident. I am here on purpose. And I fully believe that God Almighty puts us into those situations so that we will step up. Because when we step up, a whole bunch of really cool things happen. Number one is we learn to rely on ourselves. We become self-reliant. We learn to trust ourselves and our self-confidence soars. We then become an inspiration and a role model to all the people around us, our kids, our significant others, our friends, our family, people who observe us, because folks are watching us all the time and they're wondering how are we going to react in difficulty, right? It's easy to react when things go well. How do we react when things get really tough and get really hard? And we're going to find that we are able to take on more and do more and become more because we handle the things that are dealt to us. And no matter how impossible or how difficult things may seem, if we adopt the mentality of thinking that this isn't designed to break me, this is designed to make me, and the reason why I am here is I am the solution. I am the hero. I'm the hero for me. I'm the hero for people that are involved in it, whether it's my family, my friends, my kids, my partner, my, you know, my girlfriend, boyfriend, grandfather, coworkers, community, whatever the case is, I am here because I'm supposed to be here. I am the hero. I'm going to show up. I'm going to give it my best. I'm going to rely on other people and use them when I need to, absolutely. But I'm the one who's going to lead. I'm the one who's going to take ownership. And I'm the one who's going to figure out a solution. And when we become solution-minded like that, and we attack things as opposed to letting them dominate us, 
we become super strong. And we become the superhero in the equation. And there's too many people, in my opinion, running around who are victims and not enough people who are taking ownership. But the people who learn to take ownership and step up are the folks everybody looks to. They're the folks who get the opportunities. They're the folks who are gone to in emergency and crisis situations. And they're the ones who live lives of not only success, but significance. Because when we live lives of success, it's about us. But when we live lives of significance, it becomes about helping the people around us and being the resource and the solution for them. You have that power in you. If you are bold enough and have enough courage to take that ownership and take that responsibility, you can become the hero. At a minimum, we should be the hero in our own life and the lives of the people closest to us, but you can expand that and become the hero for countless people. And the benefits are astronomical. So I would encourage you, don't look for a hero to rescue you. Step up, embrace the suck. Realize that you are here for such a time as this. Step into it, own it. Realize you've got what it takes to figure it out. You are the solution. And in doing that, it's gonna benefit you, and everybody around you, and you are gonna be 10, 20, 100 times better than you ever imagined. You have that ability, I believe, and so do I. So I'm challenging you and I'm challenging me to not look for a hero, but to be a hero. So I hope you found this helpful. It's a challenging way to think, but it's super powerful. Tim from the LV, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.